Okay, so we have all of these graphs and words to decide where they go. Positive correlation, negative correlation, no correlation. So with positive, as x increases, y increases. So we are going to move these over. And we are going to look at the graphs. So this is for positive. So I'm going to write it sideways. So for a positive correlation, we want to look for the graphs that are positive. So that means it's going uphill. It's going to rise. So that is positive correlation because it's rising, and so is that one. So you can go ahead and put those down. Put them in. Or you can tape them in. Thank you. And so something about the correlations is you can define these as weak or strong. So if I were to get um, this little piece of lead to make a trend line, a line that goes through the data, see how this trend line doesn't exactly, like all the dots aren't super close to it? It's kind of spread out, they're either above or below. But then if I put a trend line on here, it's just trying to cut the data in half, half on top, half on bottom. I see that these scatter plots, the dots, the points on here are really, really close. So that's what makes this a strong correlation. But then the other one, remember how it was spread out quite a bit whenever I put that little piece of lead on there to make my trend line? So it's not as strong. It's weak. It's a weak correlation. So we have strong and we have weak correlation. So whenever they're closer knit, they're following a straight path. It's a stronger correlation. Whenever they're more spread apart, but they're still going positive. It's just a weak correlation. Okay, so we're just looking at the graphs on those. Okay, so let's go to the negative correlation. As x increases, y decreases. So they're going opposite directions, making this, um, let's see, let's do negative correlation the graphs for the negative correlation look like this So much quicker. Okay, so then if we look and see which one's weak, which one's strong, this one down here on the left side, see how it's more spread out? If I were to make my trend line, it's just a line that goes through the data. You have dots or points on top and on bottom, but it's not very close. Now, if you go over to this one, it's really, really close to the line. So that makes this a weak correlation. It's strong. Oh, yes. oh, sorry. And then this one is strong. Okay, and then no correlation is the last graph that we have left. I'm going to write over here, no correlation. So 
So that's our scatter plot that has no relationship at all. It's just points everywhere. There's no pattern of any sort. So it doesn't have weak or strong. It's just no correlation at all. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is the words that go with positive, negative, and no correlation. Okay, so let's see. Um, what about income and education? As education increases, what happens to the income? It increases too. So education increases, income increases. The more education you have, usually that means the more money that you'll make in your lifetime. So that's why it's important to get an education. Even going from not having a high school diploma to having a high school diploma. You'll make more money if you have a high school diploma. Even compared to a PH, uh, even compared to a GED, you'll make more usually. GED is if you drop out and you decide to um, just take a test to get your get a graduation equivalence <laughs> diploma. So the more education you have, the better. Um, the better you, you usually will be. There are some outliers there. Um, what about test scores and shoe size? Do test scores and shoe size have any kind of relationship? Nope. No. Nah. So that makes that's on the no correlation. It's down here. Number of days absent from school and grades. Uh, yes. Yes. What? Man? No. Oh. <laughs> Number of grades absent from school and grades. If you are absent from school a lot, as the number of days absent increases, what happens to your grades usually? They decrease, they decrease because you're missing out on work. It's hard to catch up whenever you've been absent a lot. Okay, what about number of pets a person has? And number of books the person reads. That's no positive. No correlation. No, no correlation. I thought there was correlation. It doesn't go together. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, hours in the mall and money spent. Yes. What is that? Secret. So. What'd you say? Is it longer you're in there, the more you're going to spend? Okay, so as hours increase, what happens to money spent? It increases too, so that's actually positive. If I were to say um, hours in the mall and the amount of money in your pocket, now that would be negative. Okay, and then hours of studying and grades. Positive. If you study more, what should happen to your grades? It should go up. It should. Should. Okay, how tall a person is and how fast they drive? No. No correlation. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That does not go together. Technically. Okay, um, distance traveled and the amount of gas in the car. Because the more miles you drive, the less gas you have because you're using it. So your gas in your gas tank is going down. So that is negative. Temperature and the number of people wearing jackets. So let's think about this. As temperature increases, what happens to the number of jackets? Well, it's our soul. 
Temperatures increase. So that means it's getting hotter. It's getting warmer. It's it's going to go down. Yeah. So it's negative. As the temperature increases, people will start putting their jackets back in their closet. They're not going to wear them if it's hot. So it's a negative. I still wear my jacket. All right. So we're even. We have three on each. I hope you're awake back there. Sit up, please. Put off. Okay, the last one. Weight on the skateboard and the speed of the skateboard travels. Mm -hmm. If you weigh a lot and you're on the skateboard, what's normally going to happen to the skateboard? It's going to snap and snap. It's, it's not going to go very fast. It may or may not break. I don't know. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this in our journal on page 56. Put this in on page 56. Make sure that you title it correlation. And then we are going to talk about some of the vocab words. Okay, so let's look at our unit vocab. So go to the unit vocab. We highlighted some of the words yesterday. We're going to highlight two more. First one we highlighted was quantitative bivariate data. That just means two sets of data represented in a scatter plot. Then correlation. Description of the linear relationship between two variables and bivariate data. Then we had negative linear correlation, no linear correlation, and positive correlation. Today we are going to talk about regression equation. Regression equation is a line of best fit representing a set of bivariate data. So we are going to come up with an equation for a line that goes to the scatter plot. So a line of best fit. Line of best fit. That's all it is. Trend line. A line on the graph showing the general direction that a graph, that a group of things seem to follow. So if you have a graph, let's say we have some plots. Then the line of best fit will be the line that goes through and follows the same pattern as the scatter plot. That's your trend line. And then correlation coefficient is the R value. Numeric value that assesses the strength of a linear relationship between two quantitative variables in a set of bivariate data. So we are going to find R. We're going to use the calculator to do this. We're going to use the calculator to find regression, the trend line and graph it, and then the R value, saying how strong or weak. So we can put it over to the, to the side strong or weak. It's going to determine whether it's strong or weak by finding that R value. Okay, so it's just three words. So let's go over to page 57. 
entitle the page um, regression and correlation coefficient. Title this page, Regression and Correlation Coefficient. The first word that we're going to talk about is regression. So regression is finding the line of best fit. So here's the definition. The statistical way to find an equation that shows the relationship between two sets of data. So the way you can show the relationship is by writing an equation. What was that name? Data. Data. Okay, linear regression will be written as y equals ax plus b. Normally it's written as when we write a linear equation, it's mx plus b. But when we use the calculator, it's going to use it as y equals ax plus b. So a really just means ilm, the slope. And b, of course, is our y-intercept still. And then you can graph the scatter plot and then linear regression equation on the same graph. Okay, we are going to go over correlation coefficient tomorrow. Um, I did this in fourth and fifth period today, but we aren't going to get to it today. So tomorrow we'll talk about correlation coefficient and then what it means. So if you were in fourth or fifth, you need to go ahead and copy this down.